Although it has been many years, I can still recall the days when Americans were excited about investing. Simple concepts such as buy solid companies with dividends, take a little risk to get a great return, and hold for the long term were not only working, but even the biggest and best investors like Warren Buffett followed similar trading techniques very successfully. However, today things have taken a turn for the worse if you're an ordinary investor. Instead of the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 moving in conjunction with the performance of the actual corporations that make up the indexes, as they were intended to, today's indexes seem to care more about Europe, the Fed easing policies, and any other form of manipulation that the White House or Wall Street can conjure up. As you can imagine, this shift towards wild volatility and just irrational markets has created what some are calling the age of safety. Now, the age of safety refers to a risk-off appetite where the ultimate goal in mind is just not to lose anything, also known as keep what you have or, you know, protection of principle. Who could have ever guessed that cash, the U.S. dollar, would be one of the most popular trades considering it literally guarantees a return of zero? What caused Americans to become so fearful that they would prefer not making any money to taking a little bit of risk to make something? Now the biggest question remains as to when will the average investor be willing to put any risk back on the table? Will they ever trust Wall Street again? Uh, how long will this age of safety last? Well, history would tell us that this amount of cash, this huge amount of cash that's sitting on the sidelines will surely start chasing stocks again at some point. But we've also never had this large of a group being the baby boomers retiring all at one time who certainly can't afford to lose any more of their hard earned retirement savings. And don't forget that we haven't even begun to hear the end of the issues in Europe, China, and of course our very own debt problems that we will be forced to face at some point. Until then, it could be that fear and safety are the common thing among Americans. Welcome to the age of safety.